The close quarters of a classroom are a petri dish for the coronavirus, and several national universities are moving to online-only classes to keep students from congregating. Now, that's not, not such an easy thing to do, though, at the elementary or secondary level. So Emily Adams chairs the science department at the Walker School in the Atlanta metro area with students in K-12. through She's here today to talk about it. You had a fantastic explanation that you shared with students at school. We saw it and thought we need to have you explain to our viewers about the coronavirus. We need to be as smart as your fifth graders. So, so tell us, you know, what exactly is this particular coronavirus? So this coronavirus is new, and that's one of the reasons that it can be scary and also that we're seeing people get sick. It goes into the lungs and it spreads through what's called droplet transmission. So that really means within just about six feet. So if someone's coughing or sneezing, it can be passed that way. There's a little bit of transmission that can also happen on commonly touched surfaces. Okay. Now, we've all had coronaviruses before then, right? There's SARS, MERS, even the common cold is a coronavirus. Correct. So why is this one getting so much attention? So this one is one that's brand new and we've never seen it before. So we just don't have an immunological memory to this, this virus. Do we react differently to it? Uh, the first time we see it, it usually means that we're gonna get sick from it at least a little bit, at least mildly. Okay, what can kids do? You know, especially during the school day to minimize exposure. So kids really wanna wash their hands regularly during the day, especially after recess, using the restroom, before and after lunch or special activities like that and reduce the touching of their face as much as possible. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard for it's kids hard. too, because you know how kids are, right? They are very active. Um, but what about you cleaning all the surfaces? You talked about how the virus can live um, for some time, but maybe not a long time on surfaces? Correct, so our school and many schools are doing enhanced cleaning of the surfaces that kids are commonly touching. We know that the virus can live on surfaces, but we think that it probably only lasts for minutes to hours, which is, is good news, especially if we're doing regular cleaning and we know that that cleaning works to prevent the spread of disease. What steps are, is your school taking and the faculty just to help kids, and not just with the reminder to hand wash, but just to understand, you know, this whole coronavirus and, you know, what's in the news? So first thing, our school has convened a task force and we're meeting daily. It's a mixture of administrators and teachers to make sure that we're following CDCs and our State Department public health guidelines so that we're doing what's right for the safety of our students and our school community. Teachers are making intentional time in the day to make sure that our kids are washing their hands, they're covering their coughs and sneezes. We're encouraging people who are st sick to stay home, which is a really big one. Um, we've also created a web page so that it's a one-stop shop for information. Parents and community members can ask questions so that they can stay up to date on what we're doing. We're also reassuring our students that their safety is our top priority and that we're doing everything we can to make sure that their learning continues to happen in a meaningful way. You know, I'm a parent and my kids are concerned. They see the news, they hear, you know, they hear the news and they are worried that this is going to be, you know, a big deal. I mean, what do you tell kids who are that are worried about this? So uh, I am using the phrase, keep calm and wash your hands. It's something that we should take seriously, but not panic about. We know that washing our hands is a great way to help yeah. prevent the spread of this disease. I love it. And you have a little meme there as well. Keep calm and wash your hands. Absolutely. Emily Adams, thank you so much. Really great information. She is Science Department Chairwoman at the Walker School. Uh, we'll be right back with more here on AMHQ.